This video is sponsored by Monopoly Go, but more on them later. Welcome back to Falcons franchise as we are elated after a wild card victory over the 49ers. And yes, I, I wish for the sake of the series, it was not a blowout. We blew them out, right? And of course, I have the detectives in comments being like, I've seen all Madden. This ain't no all Madden difficulty. Yes, it is. I wouldn't change anything. I'm not trying to impress anyone with how good I am at Madden. That's not what this channel is. It makes the series perform worse when those kind of things happen. I'm not trying to do that. So for people that, ah, I've seen all Madden. Real convenient that you won in the playoffs once you got there. You changed the sliders. I didn't. I've only ever changed the sliders to make it more difficult. No one likes blowouts. We like fun, competitive games. The last one was not that. But, you know, you get morale boost sometimes. You get momentum early in a game. And the CPU, for whatever reason, just doesn't play well. That happens. That happens a lot. I can promise you they only ever get changed to make it more challenging and more fun for the series. I promise you that's what happens. So I've updated them again. And it should be, you know, hopefully even more challenging. Last game was an outlier. Those also happen. Outliers exist. So we'll see what happens. It's also funny to see like, oh, the, the Falcons would never beat the 49ers in the playoffs. It's literally impossible. It's Have you watched football? They're close games. The, the difference between, you know, a bottom 10 team in the league and one of the best teams in the league is not as much as you would think. The Chiefs don't go 17-0 every year. The, neither do the Eagles. Neither neither does any team. We've seen that happen, what? How, how often does a team win 14 or 15 games in a season? Not often. But obviously, I want the series to be as fun as absolutely possible. So, clearly, I don't want to do anything to threaten that. So, you can take your conspiracy hats off. You look like an idiot. Just so you know. Because I know you're probably not aware. You go, I'm going to out Bengal as the cheat that he is. That's, I'm not. You're the only one that thinks that. You and the group of morons. Anyway, yeah, I know. Fun start to the episode. I'm gonna upgrade these players. I'll see you for the divisional. Got the Eagles. This one's gonna be tough. The Eagles will be without Jordan Davis as a torn bicep, and Sidney Brown, the rookie out of Illinois, will also not be playing. I want to take the short pass away from Jalen Hurts. I still think he's gonna pose a lot of problems for us. Yeah, if we can air it out down the field. When we need to, I think that's going to be good for us as well. Ooh, my, is that Micah Abernathy? Dislocated shoulder? It's going to be a tough loss for this one. We're already without Grady Jarrett on a serious note. It, you know, it's going to be tough. I, I say that in the last game you saw what happens, but... Or you saw what happened, but yeah, no Cordero Patterson. No Grady Jarrett. No Micah Abernathy now. No Julio Jones. It is, uh, it is looking bad for us, I'm going to be honest. But I know I, I yelled at some of you a little bit. It's not the start to the episode I wanted. Just got to address some of those things. We're all fighting for the same thing, which is the betterment of this series. I want this series to be as good and as entertaining as possible. That's my only motivation. I promise you. It's not, look at me win. But am I good? Do you guys like it? Do you think I'm really amazing? It's about making it as fun to watch. And that's what we're going for. So close games, better games and a challenge and maybe we'll get that today with the philadelphia eagles their defense is only an 84 overall but their offense is rated very very highly and we saw that they don't really have many injuries on defense either sydney brown is like whatever jordan davis could be a bigger one for them but they still have a bunch of really really good players i'm kind of shocked they're only an 84 overall defense i really don't get that one when you think about some of the amazing players that they have Fletcher Cox, I'll still throw in there. Josh Sweat is really good. Hassan Reddick is really good. Got some good rotational players on the D-line. Milton Williams. You know, you look at corner. Darius Slay. James Bradbury. This is such a talented team. And really, we're going to find out on both sides of the ball. DeAndre Swift is the lone back. And they will hand it off to him to start. As there goes DeAndre Swift. He's faster than all of us and stronger, apparently. Bowls over Jesse Bates, I believe. And that is a first down to start the game for Philly. And Madden, not only 23, 24, if it was in 22. Madden is a momentum-based game now with these momentum factors. So, and they're gaining momentum faster when they're uh, something or other. <laughs> it's a problem. 
whoever gets momentum first and, and holds it, that's who wins the game a lot of the time. So it, it is hugely important. I've thought about turning it off in my last couple of series, but I feel like, I mean, that's a big, you know, point of the game. How do I turn that off? Is DeAndre Swift is just going to be faster. When you hit A to make a conservative wrap-up tackle, they just slow down sometimes. They can be running and you go, oh, sorry, I'm not going to run anymore. No, oh, I'm going to be annoyed in this one. I can already tell how this is going to go. Kenneth Gainwell checks into the game. Progressive fatigue uh, has been off, by the way. People are, to turn that off. It's been off, so it's not a factor. If we do happen to get knocked out of this game, the off-season live stream will be on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Bengal. Link, as always, is in, the, is in the description. I'll tweet out when I'm going live. You'll have all the information that you need if you just follow those links in the description. But hopefully we don't actually have to go to the off-season. I want to win the game. I want to go to the conference championship. I want to win a Super Bowl. And Ogun Deji with interceptions in back-to-back -back weeks. He is a defensive lineman, essentially. Adhe Ogundeji, just in spot drops, has somehow managed to intercept multiple quarterbacks recently. It's unbelievable. Slant for A.J. Brown and Ogundeji just sitting right there. Hurts never saw him, and the offense will take the field. Yeah, I am curious what this offense is going to look like. Brandon Graham still in there, and Hassan Reddick, someone we talked about earlier. It's going to make an impact today, more than likely. We're going to lose three, makes it second and 13. We're backed up to our own end zone. It's a really tough spot to just want to throw the ball here. We don't want to get sacked. We don't want a safety. We are just going to run it and uh, hopefully do something. But not really a lot there for Algier. He stopped again for basically uh, nothing for us. Only a gain of one. And it's third and 12. And I know we're set up to run the ball again. I'm not going to get safety. So we'll just run it, see if we can get something. And Algier almost finds enough space. Unfortunately, just short. Kaiser White on the tackle, and we will punt. I mean, as soon as we got we got second and 13 from our own four, I pretty much knew the drive was going to be over. It's early enough in the game. We don't want to set ourselves back. So we'll just, you know, try to trust the defense again and give the ball back to Philly. I don't want to do that, but I think it's the smartest move. Getting safety there or trying to throw the ball out of our own end zone, maybe throwing a pick six with pressure, I think would have been really, really bad. We are looking for interception number two. Can't find it. Richie Grant just didn't stretch his arms out. Alligator armed it, and Dallas Goddard catches the football for a gain of four. It's going to be wide open. A.J. Brown. We're just in zone defense, right? I mean, we're, we're going to give up catches when doing that. And... Um, we just got to be able to live with that. And that is interesting. We have double coverage on that right side of the field. Why do we have that? Get out of that. Oh, no. Get your hands up. Caden Ellis cannot. Hertz finds Devontae Smith. Like, why are linebackers incapable of jumping? Why is jumping a skill that they'd never have picked up in their entire life? Jump. Try to jump and get the ball. And that's going to be a touchdown. Dallas Goddard running a corner. And Dallas Goddard finding the end zone. Touchdown Eagles. They go up here early. 7-0 as we near the end of the first quarter. It's just a tough matchup. I don't know. When we ran man coverage there, what are we really supposed to do in man? I don't really know. Caden Ellis, if I let him be by himself, was going to allow that touchdown anyway. If we ran zone, I mean, we saw how that worked earlier on the drive. It's just uh, they found ways to win, but Mike Hughes is going to find a way to win for us. Three kickoff return touchdowns in his last five quarters. Maybe even less than that. Mike Hughes with a second quarter going into the half kickoff return touchdown last week against the 49ers. And our offense doesn't need to do anything when we have Mike Hughes. Throw back to him as a return man at UCF dominating and doing the same thing here in the NFL. Mike Hughes, three return touchdowns in the playoffs so far. That is simply unbelievable. And that's another thing. It's like, you want to talk about it being too easy. I can't control returning a kick for a touchdown. 
Like, I'm not going to not take it when it's there. Just if they're... If their kickoff team can't make a tackle, what am I supposed what am I supposed to do? We don't really have to do anything offensively when that's gonna work. Have three touchdowns in the last two games doing that. Just returning kicks with Mike Hughes. We're tied at seven in I would say the most unlikely of ways, but we've seen it happen so often recently. Jalen Hurts in the zone. Eagles looking for another good drive. And Hertz is going to roll out, make a throw on the run, and Ellis makes a tackle. We're blitzing. Hertz getting rid of the football quickly. That's a nice catch in traffic by is that Flash Goodwin. Marquise Goodwin, hook him horns, makes the catch, but not hook him today because we need to beat him. We need to Quan Graham to make a play. That's where we need to say hook him. Jalen Hertz checking at the line. They're going to change this play call, maybe seeing a matchup they like. And yep, it's attacking and going right to Dallas Goddard again. All right, well, playing zone coverage is a better way to take the tight end out of the game, but a worse way to take the receivers out of the game. It's kind of like pick your poison here. How do we want to die? Do we want Dallas Goddard to beat us when we're manned up when we have a linebacker on him? Or do we want these receivers to just completely destroy our life one completion at a time for Jalen Hurts? It's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. I think we're just gonna keep blitzing, and hopefully staying tight enough to Dallas Goddard that he's not gonna just continue to cause us misery. As we have uh, negative yards in this one. No, actually we have six. That's right, because we had Tyler Algier ran for a few after a uh, loss. So there you go. We have six yards and we're tied against the Eagles. I'll take it. I think I'd be pretty happy with that based on how this game has gone. As uh, Caden Ellis over pursues, tackle is made anyway by Evicady. And it's going to be third and four for Philadelphia. We're going to be in man coverage. And that's going to be thrown right at Troy Anderson. That's got to be an interception. AJ Brown moves the chains for Philly. I mean, it couldn't have been a worse decision. And it worked out. Very frustrating to see that. And it's first and 10 for Philly again. We can back off here because we're playing on the running back and even in man coverage. They just have too talented of a receiving core. Too talented of receivers on this team. A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith. We have one really good corner. Jeff Okuda's played really well this year, but he's not, like, amazing. And Jalen Hurts has coughed up the football. Richie Grant forces it out, and we recover again. Jason Kelsey injured on the play, but it's another red zone turnover for Jalen Hurts. And, yeah, that... It's gotta hurts. Got it hurt. Hurts. Jason Kelsey would be a big loss for Philly. We're gonna bring Bijan Robinson out. We're gonna try to run the ball, shorten this game, and uh, just completely come away with the win. I keep not expecting the outside to be open, and it keeps being open. When I was watching the last game back, I noticed that I I really just needed to continue to bounce it outside of Bijan. We might have had huge gains instead of trying to juke it back. So we just got to keep getting to the outside, but then if they run well and kind of contain Bijan, it is tough to, to really get anything when you bounce it outside. I don't know. Might just have to play it by ear here. Second and 10. This is going to be our first passing play of the game. And we're going to find Kyle Pitts. He takes a big shot, but he holds on. First down, Atlanta. I am shocked that he held on to the football there. He just took a really big hit. But Kyle Pitts is in it to win it. We're going to run the ball to Algier. And that's just not... We tried to hard cut, but he just stops moving. Why does that happen sometimes? Second and nine, Bijan going to get it. That's a good block. Bijan with power as well. And even on the second and long run, we managed to do enough to pretty much move the chains here. They're going to give us the ball, third and one. Is it four down territory? It probably isn't from our own 36, but it's... It is close, but it's not going to matter. Bijan, broken tackle, and the first down easily. Four rushes for 27 yards already. Algier has really struggled in this one, but Bijan Robinson certainly has not. He's had a fantastic game, and the blocking just been really good for him. And hopefully that continues. We're going to throw for Drake London, working off play action. He makes one man miss. Drake London fighting for more. Gets pushed out of bounds at the 28. 
but it's another nice gain for this Atlanta offense as we are really moving the football here in the second quarter. And we're wasting a lot of time, which is what we want to do. We're, we're completely outmatched on offense. We've made a number of really good plays on defense. And we want to shorten the game. Don't give Philadelphia enough possessions to take us out of this one. Continue to just kind of run down the clock. And Kyle Pitts is calling for it. Put him on a streak and, and see if he can make a play. Hoping for a laser. A little bit too aggressive. A little bit too aggressive there. Third and six. Get it to Bijan. He's leaking out of the backfield. He makes a man miss. It made me juke back the other way. We had a touchdown with Bijan. I only juked once. I promise. That could have been massive. 14-yard pickup. Love to see that. I mean, they just, uh, they blitzed heavy. They left Bijan open as a receiver. And that's uh, something you got to be aware of. Bijan in the receiving, as a, in the passing game as a receiver is just really, really talented as well. Again, it's kind of like we talked about pick your poison earlier. Well, if you blitz everybody, try to put pressure on the quarterback. If Bijan's not into block, he's going to be a weapon in the passing game. Quick check down to him and, you know, easy yardage. Second and eight. Here's a draw. Blocking eh, could have been better. And it's third and six. Eagles leaving the middle of the field open. They could be bluffing here with double A-gap pressure, and it is. We're going to throw toward it anyway. Bijan Robinson, touchdown. I just told you. I just told you exactly what was going to happen. You leave Bijan one-on-one against a linebacker. Maybe you're in zone coverage, as it seemed like they were there. He's going to be a weapon in the passing game. And he puts us on the board here with our second touchdown. 14-7 as we're looking yet to yet again upset another top-ranked NFC team in a miracle playoff run. Obviously, there's a lot of game left. But I really like where we are right now. We get the football to start the second half. Just need Philly to not do anything with this remaining a minute and a half. And we're just going to keep blitzing. I don't know that Hurts has handled it super well today. And that was a quick throw and a drop by Marquise Goodwin. AJ Terrell in coverage. And you know what we went, you know what we might want to do? Let's get cornerback matchups rated by overall. So Terrell's gonna try and take away AJ Brown. Okuda on Devontae Smith. I don't love quite as much. And AJ Brown, the intended receiver, broken up by Okuda and Terrell. It'll be third and ten. Our defense is really stepping up in this one. And I don't know if I like a man blitz here. Let's let's go ahead and go to cover two. And they're going to run the football. Caden Ellis is there. He can't make the hit to bring him down, but somebody else does. And we're going to call a timeout and receive the Philadelphia punt. They just completely gave up. A run on third down there says, eh, we can't beat you. You know what, Atlanta? You're the better bird team. Mike Hughes to return a punt, and we can get points before the end of this first half. There goes Mike Hughes. Going to start us on the 31. Gonna call a draw. We got blocks. Bijan. See, it did. It did it again. But Bijan down the sideline. He's gassed, but he's pushing toward the end zone. Get there, Bijan! Touchdown. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, it did it again. Where you juke to the outside, and then he kind of leans his shoulder back down. I didn't know if he would have the speed to make it to the end zone. He looked absolutely gassed, but pure heart and determination gets. Bijan into the end zone for the score. And again, what an end to the first half for us here in the playoffs. Did it in the wild card against the 49ers and now have another massive play at the end of the first half here against Philly. It's 21 to 7. And what are they going to say now? It's all Madden. The sliders have been adjusted to make it even harder. And yet we still rise to the occasion. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just unbelievable. <laughs> that, it's natural talent. Conspiracy theorists be damned. This is not good for the series, but it's good for me. We're up by two touchdowns. You know, I don't know how Trey Flowers keeps sneaking onto the field. I want Clark Phillips to play. We've been developing this entire year. And he's ahead of Trey Flowers on the depth chart. He just does not play. I don't know why it is. Trey Flowers, is it is it second slot cornerback? So we come out with like nickel, or not nickel, but like dime and stuff. He's, he's on the field instead. I don't want that. 
Trey Flowers is terrible. I want Clark Phillips. Eagles not calling timeouts here. Jalen Hurts throwing for Goddard. Flowers takes out his legs. Second timeout used by Philly. 28 seconds to play here in the first half. They really need a score here. But our momentum factor is really just not allowing anything to happen. And I'm telling you with fatigue, I turned it down. I turned it down. It's like 68 now. And the Eagles still at like tight end three are bringing in... Um, was that Tyler Steen? I think it might have been. I, it's, progressive fatigue is off. Fatigue has been lowered in the sliders, and that's still happening. Listen, at, at the end of the day, there's only so much I can do when the game is bad. Like, I'm, I'm trying, dude. I, I'm not trying to make it unfair and OP, as Dan Arnold will catch the ball and bring the Eagles down to the four, and they're not calling a timeout. So this is the final play of the first. No, no, now they're going to call a timeout with four seconds left. If they take a field goal here, oh my God. I mean, absolutely brain dead from the computer. There's nothing I can do if they're going to be stupid. I can't do anything. 21 to 10. I mean, it works for me, right? But it is what it is. Two seconds to play in the first half. Does Mike Hughes have another one in him? He had two last game. Looking for two this game, but not on that occasion. We go into the lockers up 21 to 10 over the Eagles in Philadelphia at the link. Eagles are struggling. This video is sponsored by Monopoly Go, a new twist on the classic and iconic board game. I used to play Monopoly so much as a kid, I would always pick the top hat game piece, but as I got older, I didn't have the amount of time to play the board game. Well, that's not an issue anymore with Monopoly Go. Hop on and play whenever you want, it's a mobile game, and I've personally been playing when my videos are rendering or just hanging out watching TV, as I'm simply incapable of doing only one thing at a time. And in Monopoly Go, you can go on tours of some of my favorite cities in the world, like New York City, which is essentially where I'm from, and one of my favorite cities in the world that I've ever been to, Venice, Italy. And after conquering London in Monopoly Go, I think I might have to add that to the list of cities I need to go to for the first time. As you grow your Monopoly Go empire, you can make your friends and family who you invite to the game pay you rent. Bankrupt shut down and complete bank heists to completely monopolize the board and finish these famous cities. Do you have what it takes to collect all these stickers to win the massive prize? Find out now by clicking my link in the description and download Monopoly Go completely free. Go now and thank you to Monopoly Go for sponsoring this video. All right, we get the football to start the third quarter. Let's build on our lead. Let's send the Philly fans home sad. What I want. Ritter jogs out on the field. Let's make it happen. I feel good about it. We got a lead. We can run the football. Let's just completely beat him down. There's Bijan. He is upended by Josh Sweat. Eight rushes for 110 yards and a touchdown. Good start to half number two. Working off play action. We're going to throw for Kyle Pitts and we're going to hit him. Great throw from Ritter. And we have an injury. Is that the left guard, Matthew Bergeron? I believe it is. He's going to jog into the locker room. So that's going to be a tough loss for us. And I believe we're going to have Matt Hennessy to come in at left guard. Decent blocks, though. Drew Dahlman and, I, yeah, Matt Hennessy combined to make a nice play for Bijan. Elbow bursitis. We're going to bring in, we're going to leave in Hennessy. Third and inches. Trust Tyler Algier. He struggled in this one. This is a chance to get some momentum for Algier, and he got it. Six rushes for 10 yards. It's really been night and day with him and Bijan in this one. First and 10, though. Taking time off the clock. We're doing the right things. And we are nearly sacked. I feel like this is a Kyle Pitts touchdown. Working off play action, and we just have to throw it away. We were under pressure. Never going to be able to get it to Kyle Pitts. And now it's third and 10. A much tougher situation. See if we can uh, perform regardless. I like that. Oh my goodness, Kyle Pitts comes back and gets it. I wanted him toward the end zone, but the football came out kind of weird. Was Ritter getting sacked? He was. 
got crushed, but delivered an accurate enough ball that Kyle Pitts could work back to it and make a play. Third and six. This is an RPO bubble screen here, a little bit too crazy. Oh, Ritter keeps it! Ritter fighting towards the goal line! Just short, but he picks up eight. It basically worked out to be like a zone read with a pass option that we were never going to throw to. And now it's first and goal from the one. This is another B. John Robinson touchdown. And he is upended again by Sweat. No gain. I don't really love the idea of a counter run on the one. We're going to try it. There goes Algier, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown. Tyler Algier just completely demoralizing the Philly crowd. It is dead silent <laughs> as they dance. Blocking was great. Jonu Smith with the critical block. Matthew Bergeron back in the game didn't really do anything. And it's 28 to 10. Philly obviously still very in this game. A touchdown makes it 28 to 17. But that's been easier said than done for him. But they are going to have a chunk play here. DeAndre Swift beats us again for a long gain. Brings it to about midfield. I want to make sure it doesn't get to 28 to 17. Because that's within striking distance. There's a lot of time left in this one. We just got to, uh, we were going to blitz. But nope. Oh, A.J. Brown drops it. Nice catch. Little Butterfingers Brown. Drops the football. And Jalen Hurts making audible at the line. And two tight ends on the field. And Hurts misfires. Third and ten. And we're going to show double A-gap pressure, but none is coming. And they will throw it, and they're going to find an open receiver. It's Devontae Smith. Troy Anderson comes in and levels Richie Grant. Hopefully he's okay. But it's a really nice gain for Philadelphia to make this another first down as they approach the red zone. D'Angelo Malone blitz. Here we're going to send him. Hurts under pressure. Caden Ellis gets to him. He's had a defensive player of the year type season. And now comes up with a huge sack on first down to make second and very long. Just screaming after Jalen Hurts. D'Angelo Malone on some pressure as well. And now it's second and 23. Hurts doesn't like what he sees. Calls for trips left. Dallas Goddard is going to be the one to watch here. And we whiff on him. And he's going to make it third and 14 for the Eagles after a decent pickup. Nothing crazy. And we're going to send heat. Hertz can be in the zone all he wants. He hasn't played well. And he hasn't had a lot of help either. Oh, we almost got to him. We almost got to him. Hertz is panicking. Ebicady pressure. And it's just a throwaway from Jalen Hertz on third and long. They're going to try a field goal. It's going to be 28 to 13. I'm sure that Jake Elliott's going to make this. We need to burn this clock. We need to burn it. Problem is, is that it looks like a big lead, but it's just two touchdowns. They will need a two-point conversion at some point, but it, it really, and that's not a great return, but it really is just two touchdowns. We cannot let off the gas pedal at this point. Have to pour it on. And he's got more than seven receiving yards, surely. A third and six here. Kind of forced to pass. A bluff pressure. We're going to throw to Kyle Pitts. And we're going to pick up another first down. That's going to take us to the end of the third quarter. Just need to keep picking up first downs and this one's over. Could catch him napping here. We're going to run trap. Just need to follow the blocks. We're actually going to have to make our own blocks. There goes Bijan! Oh my goodness. How creative is he as a runner? That's not really what you want to do on trap. Yet. I mean. He just found space, made a play. Beautiful stuff. How about Algier on a swing here? It'll kind of work as a run with a quick throw. Mm, didn't really get the space I was looking for. Mac Hollins wide open. No, he runs it down the field, but he makes the catch. I was wrong about Mac Hollins, man. This guy's unbelievably good. Darius Slay brings him down, but it's a huge game. How did he catch that? First and 10 for us. Working off play action. I, I see Scotty Miller. I held on the football too long. Ritter fumbles the ball. We recover, thankfully. Bijan right there, and it's second and long now. 
Uh, I didn't see Scotty Miller until it was too late. I was working the left side of the field. He's a clear out route. He wasn't really ever in the progression, but still unfortunate nonetheless. We're down the field. We have a step with Watkins and we can't get it to him. Third and 21. I think the problem is I'm trying to get this all back at once. Is looks like we're going to run slot two buck. When I probably just should have run the ball and, should, and and try to get in the field goal range. But now, I don't know. Do we just go deep and hope somebody wins? Nope. We're going to check down to Bijan. And that should put us into field goal range. 53-yard attempt from Young Waku. And he doesn't miss these. 31-13 inverted scores here in the division round of the playoffs. Eagles have been no match for the Dirty Birds so far. Going deep. Terrell, good coverage. Going for A.J. Brown, A.J. Terrell all over him. We're not going for interceptions at this point. We just wanted him to bat down the football. A turnover would be nice. Turnover probably effectively ends the game. We don't want to give them any yards right now. Make them earn it. And that's what we're doing. Hurts freaking out under pressure. And he's going to throw nearly an interception. Going for Goddard. He found Cade Nellis, who knocks it down. Fourth and seven, game effectively on the line. Hurt's going to need to make something happen, and you're, you're going to play pressed corners. We're not going to make this easy. Fourth and seven, four minutes to go. And he's going to find A.J. Brown on the sideline for a had-to-have-it play. I don't know how that worked at all. Finding up the seam. Devontae Smith pushed into the end zone. Touchdown. Philly not out of it yet. Okay. Hey, they're fighting. Credit to them. Going to be a two-possession game still. But 31-20 to 20 with three and a half minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Here's the onside kick try from the Eagles. See if Jake Elliott has any magic. And that is not recovered. Somebody dive on it. Not somebody from the Eagles. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. Eagles with the football. Three timeouts, three and a half minutes to play. They just recovered an onside kick. All right. I'm not freaking out. I don't know. I'm not freaking out. I don't even know why you'd think that. I'm not. We still have a good lead. It's not even a problem. We're good right now. Got to replace somebody on the hands team, though, because I'm going to cut their hands off if they don't work. That was a really bad time to allow an onside kick, and we were in onside recovery, and they're going to run the ball to Derek Watt? What? What? Literally, what are they doing? Well, it worked, so I can't hate on it too much. Hurts throwing a crossbody. Is Derek Watt the Falcon killer? What's happening right now? What is actually happening? They still have the two-minute warning as well. And that's a check down. Devontae Smith, he's going to get another first down. Eagles are still running out of hurry up. Can we do something about this, please? We might have to call a timeout here. It's going to be a touchdown. A.J. Brown. Oh, my. What is happening? What is happening right now? What is going on? A.J. Brown with the score. I mean, they've just suddenly become unstoppable. They've, they've become unstoppable. They don't even need to go for an onside kick. They have the two-minute warning. They have three timeouts. And here they are going for two to make it a field goal game. We're going to have to take this tight end away. Quick throw at him. We're right there. It somehow snuck by Troy Anderson, but it is no good. And they're just going to kick it deep. 31-26. We need to run out this clock. I cannot believe they got an onside kick as Godwin Igwe Buike will return to the 25. Would have been a touchback, but we took more time off the clock. Bijan's at 151 total yards. I'd be up for giving him more. Let's do that. They can stop the clock just four times. Two minute warning, three timeouts. We need the block. There goes Bijan. Okay, not a bad first play. That's going to take us down to the two minute warning. They've only allowed 168 yards. The kickoff return touchdowns are absolute game changers. We really don't have that many yards in this one. 
but here we are with a lead late in the fourth quarter. Second and four, we have to keep it. We're gonna keep the ball on the ground, and there's a flag. It's, it can't be a hold here. It's gonna be second and long now. Why is this happening to me? I'm such, I'm such a nice guy, dude. I don't deserve it. <laughs> Not that nice, all right? Apparently. That also stops the clock, by the way. If you didn't know, it's an offensive penalty, and it's second and 13. I've got to run the ball. we got to burn these timeouts. There goes Algier. Timeout Philadelphia, and it's third and nine. Oh, my God. It's, I mean, it's falling apart. We're going to throw it, or do we not? Bijan's got to be on a route here. I might just check down and, and make it a quick throw here. Oh, oh, oh. The defensive end, I, I know this is going to be my fault somehow. The defensive end is rushing the quarterback. I try to throw a quick, quick release to the flat with Kyle Pitts because I noticed the DBs are playing off, which means we have an easy completion to Pitts. And he gets, he can't get by Redick. I mean, it's just absolutely insane. I just, I was trying to keep the clock moving. I probably should have just run the ball. But I expected Kyle Pitts to, to get off the block is what essentially that turned into. I can't even believe this. Look at the, he would have been so open in the flat. He would have been so open. That's just absurd that that just happened. All right, we're going to punt. Uh, it's, uh, it's falling apart. This is an unbelievable collapse. But, it, uh, dude, the onside kick is the game changer. They have momentum now. That It's BS. I know onside kicks happen. Why does it have to happen to me right now? It's just absurd. A.J. Brown's open. Uh, it's Oh, they're going to call that incomplete. I happen to disagree with that. There is a booth review inside two minutes. It's going to be overturned. I think he got two feet down. I thought it was pretty clear, honestly, in real time. We'll take a second look. Right foot down, left foot dragged. Is it right foot down, left something stomp? I don't know, some idiot TikTok dance. I forgot, my my audience is completely TikTok, so I got I to gotta relax with that. It was overturned. Big hit, Troy Anderson. <laughs> oh, man. Marquise Goodwin looked in pain on that one. He's actually... It moved into the backfield. Oh my goodness, big tackle by Okuda. But it, it doesn't help us. They're gaining more yards. Just over a minute to play. They need a touchdown. Give me a turnover. I'm trying to hit sticks so bad. We want to keep him in bounds, but he gets out. Second and five. We're playing good coverage, but we leave underneath open. Marquise Goodwin is too fast. He's literally like an Olympic level athlete or just a notch below that. I think, is he a hurdler? I think he's a long jump guy, maybe. He's something. Maybe he's a triple jump guy. I mean, I don't know. I can't remember. Um, under a minute to play. I, I, I don't want to remember this game ever again. I, this is... I'm going to have PTSD after this one. I, I, we can't cover that. I, Dan Arnold inside the five for Philly. It's unreal. That's all I got for you. Hurts stays in the zone. First and goal from the two. Philly looking to go ahead. We're blitzing, and they score. Second touchdown of the game for A.J. Brown. Philly takes the lead 32-31. We got to go for two here to make it a field goal game as well. We got to stop them. We have to stop them here. I mean, we're right there. They had a touchdown to Dan, uh, Dan Arnold in the flat also. It was a touchdown any way they wanted to do it. Any way you want it, that's the way I don't need it. I don't know. It's, we need to make a stop on this two-point conversion. I, I don't like this look. They've got Smith in the flat. They're going to change it or in the slot. He was uncovered. This defense looks pretty good, though. Oh, no, it's not because A.J. Brown's wide open. How did I not see him? I saw Devontae Smith motion over. Oh, because he wasn't uncovered. I thought A.J. Terrell was going to take away A.J. Brown. We have inside help. Guess what, A.J. Terrell? There's nobody on the sideline that can help you. The ref isn't stepping off the sideline to defend A.J. Brown. Where are you going? 
Where are you going? Get him a map, dude. And suddenly we're down 34-31. Philly with complete momentum. And we have three timeouts and 40 seconds to try to get back in this one. We need to get to field goal range. Can we run the ball or do we actually think we're forced to pass at this point? And the screen shaking. What do I have here? Some of the away team's receiver icons are hidden during the play. Oh, I can't wait to see which go goes away. Pitts is A. Oh, I'm going to make a mistake here. I remembered it. Hi, get, get screwed. I know what I'm doing, baby. Time out. We can go over the middle. That's no problem right now. Got to remember what these buttons are. Pitts is going to be A. Robinson's RB. Sometimes the Y and RB, they like to switch it for no reason. Bijan is RB for running back. London is X. All right. Get it to Bijan. It's nearly intercepted because he got caught on the line. Dude, I'm throwing with anticipation like a real field general quarterback. And it doesn't work because... <laughs> is BS. All right. Second and 10. Desmond, hey, hey I'm gonna, here, here's what Desmond Ritter just did. I got a Taco Bell packet. He's like, hey, catch, watch this camera. What are you doing, dude? How, how is anyone supposed to catch that? You wanna see it again? Got a napkin here. Hey, chat, comments, catch. Desmond Ritter, dude. This guy sucks. Jack down to Bijan. Why is he catching it like that? Doesn't matter. He's so good. Bijan, keep going. Fourth and one. Okay. Fourth and one. Bijan Robinson. I don't think we want to run left here. They got some defenders over there. What happens if we... We can't move Jonu Smith. I guess that'd be a legal formation. We're going to trust Bijan. Game on the line. Got to pick up the first. Change the direction. Shoot move. Bijan Robinson into field goal range. Let's go. I mean, can we, can we get one more snap off? Nope, we can't. Okay. That just took a ton of time off the clock. It's going to be a 54-yarder, and they're going to ice me. I, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. 54-yard field goal to force overtime. Oh, we have the meter. That makes it a little bit easier. There is wind. Young Wei Ku for the tie. Kick is up and good. We're going to overtime. We brought it back. Oh, my God, dude. We've allowed 409 passing yards and over 100 yards on the ground. Yet we are still in this game, and the Eagles have won the toss. All right. I mean, we, we got to gotta play defense. That's all I got for you. I can't even believe we're in this position right now. I don't even think I've done anything individually to throw. I know you guys are going to tell me differently because I suck, but also it's too easy, but both are true somehow. 34-34. Let's see what we got. We're going to find out what we're made of. We're going to find out right now. Has Hurts been in the zone the entire game? I don't even know what his ability is. Has he done anything good except for get sacked? No, he's broken a sack, and David Onyemata ends up bringing him down. Mike Hughes, I think, is the guy who got to him first. That's a huge play to start overtime. That is absolutely massive. Jalen Hurts just freaks out in the pocket. Mike Hughes was there, could not finish. Hurts throws him off. Not going to throw off David Onyemata. Way too big, too strong. And it's second and long. All right. Keep it up. Keep it up. Overtime really couldn't have started better for us after losing that uh, opening toss. We're going to check down. Caden Ellis wraps up. It'll be third and 10 for Philly. Jalen Hurts trying to throw for 500 yards. I'd prefer if he didn't. Would be my review on that. Here's third and 10. I'm going to show pressure on Lane Johnson. Help Arnold Ebicady. They're not going to run the ball. It's play action. And they're going to find Marquise Goodwin. How is that so open, dude? Now, this is overtime rules, right? For the playoffs. 
So the game does not end with the touchdown. We will have a chance to answer. But we don't want to allow a touchdown. Ertz manufacturing pressure. He's paranoid in the pocket. I honestly think we should just keep blitzing them. But when they go with four wide receivers out here, it's tough to do that. Actually, one of them is a tight end. Even though they just changed to make one of them a... Uh, uh, a receiver, like, playing in line, basically. Like an H-back, like a move tight end. It's a sick tackle. Third and 12. Ogan Deji's playing, like, off-ball linebacker. This is not what I want. I can't afford to burn a timeout, though. Recovering over the middle. And they're gonna throw to a wide-open Marquise Goodwin, who's quickly becoming the bane of my existence. Unbelievable. And now they're going to run. Oh, they got blocks. Swift with a broken tackle. Anderson drags him for the first down. Seven rushes for 100 yards for DeAndre Swift. If I were Philadelphia, if I were, which I'm not, thank God. If I were, I might have actually run the ball a little bit more this game. Or maybe not, because Troy Anderson sniffed it out all the way. We got to get Ebicady after the QB here. We got to get a sack. They're going to run the ball. Swift had a lane. Chose not to run through it. And now it's third and eight. We've been running a lot of just like three down linemen and then try to cover down the field. What are my what are my DBs doing? We're gonna have to just drop with Mike Hughes and hope we can cover it. We've covered beautifully. Hurt's gonna take off! No! He's so fast! What the hell? Alright, what the H, dude? Oh my god. Jalen Hurts. I mean, we covered beautifully on that play. We did everything we could have done, except we didn't spy the quarterback. Jalen Hurts, I think for the first time in this game, was able to scramble. We had no pass rush. And then Caden Ellis just not fast enough. Richie Grant had no reaction to Jalen Hurts. Saw him running and just goes. And then starts to chase after him. And the Eagles have taken a 41 to... 34 lead here in overtime and I didn't even do anything on on that my left hand was not even on the controller and Clark Phillips has run in or run into the quarterback left hand wasn't even touching the controller so I was too busy doing this with my hand unbelievable I've said unbelievable about a million times in this episode but I simply cannot believe what's happened we don't have to pass. We need a touchdown, but we don't have to pass. Eagles with full momentum. We got to get it back with Bijan Robinson. No broken tackle. Okay, I really thought like we could have done more there. It wants us to pass so badly. I don't really want to. I feel like we're so much better when we just run the ball. Kyle Pitts, open, up the seam, Kyle Pitts, broken tackle, there he goes, Kyle Pitts down the sideline, touchdown Pitts, we are tied, pending an extra point in Philly, maybe we should have passed the entire time, Kyle Pitts just made a couple of the guys miss, and took it all the way to the end zone, Great throw from Ritter. Three defenders converging, and they take each other out. Kyle Pitts with a dream touchdown. And we're not going to get crazy. We're not going to go for two to lose. We will kick the extra point, and we will just hopefully play better defense against Jalen Hurts this time around. Three and a half minutes to go. You cannot tie, obviously, in the playoffs. You don't both advance to the next round as nice as that would be for us but this is just absolute chaos are they gonna run the ball here i mean it's been effective there goes swift they got blocks we gotta wrap up with terrell i mean deandre swift is averaging 11.8 yards per carry not what i had hoped for in this one to be honest but their offensive line is great but no jason kelsey and it really hasn't been that much of a factor to be honest Oh, that's wide open. That's wide open. A.J. Brown. Ah, jeez. Okay. That's going to be it. 
I, he just he just outran my team. I don't really know what there is to say about it. We tried to get in position for him. Maybe I reacted too late. It was an RPO, I think. Although the offensive line, I'm not sure if they're run blocking. But, you know, Jalen Hurts just sucked me down. Um, <laughs> and uh, we, we, we fell for it with Troy Anderson. Caden Ellis got off A.J. Brown, and I, I was not there. He catches it over the middle. And then, you know, I thought we were going to switch on to Jesse Bates. We didn't switch us on to Mike Hughes. We took a false step inside, and he was by Hughes. And then by the time he switched to Jesse Bates, uh, we just ran past him. So, that's not great. Billy going to try a field goal. We're going to call a timeout. We're going to try to ice him, and we're going to try to block it. Jake Elliott for the win. There's the kick. And it is good. Jake Elliott ends it in Philadelphia. The Eagles move on to the conference championship. And we had a miracle run here. Shut down by the Eagles who really found it in the second half. And I know it's going to be a worst blown lead since 28-3. It's going to be 30 to 13 in the comments for every video or something. I don't know. But, I mean, it simply just stemmed from they they got an onside kick that there was nothing I could do about. And that completely changed the game. Once they had the onside kick, I mean, that's back-to-back -to -back touchdown drives. So... Yeah, that's tough. And then in overtime, uh, I think we did well to tie it, but Philly just was not going to be stopped. We really couldn't stop their passing attack. I know for as easy as this is, uh, Jalen Hurts had 11 incompletions for um, a 78% completion percentage. 40 of 51 for 520 yards. Four touchdowns did throw the pick to Ogan Deji. Desmond Ritter, 13 of 20 for 246 and two touchdowns. Rushing Bijan, 20 of 16 or for 162, 8.1 per carry. Also had a touchdown. DeAndre Swift was uh, proving to be difficult to stop. Algier did nothing. But Bijan's just different. Bijan's just different. Receiving? Said Bijan had like seven receiving yards. He had 33. Did have a touchdown. Um, AJ Brown had 162 yards receiving two touchdowns. Goddard had a heck of a game. So did Kyle Pitts. But it was just not enough. Uh, I'll have more information on YouTube about when the offseason, or on Twitter, when the offseason stream will be. But it will be on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Bengal. I gave it the good college try. Um, but it didn't finish that either. That's the episode. That's the video. That's the season. See you in the next one. Take it easy.